everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you five different handmade Father's Day card designs. Whenever you're making cards, I definitely recommend sketching the design out in pencil first as it helps reduce the chance of mistakes. The first design is a simple design designed for new fathers. First of all, I coloured in the one with a Tombow jewel brush pen. As it's for new fathers, I thought a baby blue would be fitting, but you can of course choose any colour you like. That's the benefit of hand making cards. Because of the streaks when colouring in, I recommend going in a single direction. So in this case, I'm drawing all of the strokes downwards just to make sure it's consistent. To the right hand side, I've written fathers in joint cursive writing and day in all caps using my Sakura fine liner. I rubbed, the, I rubbed out the pencil marking before outlining the one. I think it just helps it stand out a little bit more. The second design is a black and white design this is a design you'll definitely need to sketch out first to avoid making mistakes. Draw the letters first and then draw two lines over the top of them in the middle and go on to rub out the pencil between those two lines. Colour in the capital letters but leave the space in between the two lines blank. Once you've done this, use a ruler to go over the two lines with a fine liner. You'll find that there's a couple of small gaps in between the letters and the lines. Use the smaller tip end of your brush pen to colour those spaces in. Finally, customise the message to say whatever you'd like. So in this case, I wrote, you're the best. For the third design, I drew a big number one again, but this time I coloured it in in black. Again, making sure to go in a single direction. So again, I used downward strokes. Ladies, if you've ever used liquid eyeliner, this is what happened with this design. Um, at the bottom of the one, it would be slightly wobbly. And then I just tried to straighten it up and then it was just wobbly and it would get thicker and thicker. Um, but hey ho, it looked okay in the end. Underneath it, I wrote number one, dad in, bounce, in a bouncy cursive writing using my fine liner. I then went over it with a cool grey Tombow brush pen. Don't worry about being too precise with this. Um, when going over with the brush pen, it doesn't need to be perfectly even um, when going over it. The fourth design is perfect for those with siblings. I've written out Happy Father's Day in bouncy cursive writing. And then to contrast the cursive, I've written out from your favourite child in all caps and in green, which adds a nice splash of colour. Finally, I went over Happy Father's Day with my cool grey Tombow brush pen. This is an example of where drawing out in pencil doesn't necessarily mean it will be neat and tidy. So the pen I used was thicker than I expected and I ran out of room, so I had to move the word child underneath the other words. But when it's handmade, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as the person receiving it knows you've put care and effort into it. For the fifth and final design, I wrote out HAPPY AND DAY in all caps using my Tombow Monotone pen. I went on to colour in fathers with a Tombow brush pen 
I didn't have all the strokes go in one direction this time as there were too many letters and it would have been very time consuming. I went on to add a couple of embellishments to make the card a little fancier and then outlined Father's um, again using the mono twin pen. That's the end of today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe for similar future contents. I've linked the pens I've used down below in the video description if that's helpful. And I also have an Instagram account if that's of interest, so I'll include that in the description too. Thanks for watching.